hello there so welcome once again so on this video I'll teach you how to clone virtual machine on a virtual box all right so um, let's run our virtual box here again let's open it okay it's there so initially we have now two virtual machines all right so namely San Telmo S01 and San Selmo C01. So S01 is our server and C01 is our client. All right. Now, before we proceed with cloning, okay, so how to clone virtual machine in VirtualBox. All right. So let's have some insights here. All right. So cloning a virtual machine is useful in a number of scenarios. For example, if you want to do some experiment with a virtual machine configuration, or maybe you want to test the different guest operating system, or maybe you want to take some backup of a VM or virtual machine, right? So creating a clone of a virtual machine would be a wise decision, all right? So this feature is available in all major virtualization vendors, including Microsoft, the VMware and what we're using the open software virtual box all right now there are two types of cloning available on virtual box all right so you've got a full clone and the link clone all right so when you say full clone if you create a clone using this mode all the depending disk images will be copied to the new destination folder so the cloned VM can fully operate without the need of the source VM all right so when you say link clone if you want to create a clone VM using the link mode the new differencing disk images will be created and the parent disk images will remain the source disk images so a link VM cannot be operated without the source of VM. All right. So on this demonstration, we will be using a full clone. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Cloning is very important. It is very helpful and useful if you want to create another client. All right. So instead of installing a new virtual machine and go on with the process of installing the operating system, we just have to clone it. Right. So, how to clone it? All right. So, how to clone? So, we have two ways here. Okay. So, the clone option is available on the machine. Okay. So, you just have to click on the machine and then you've got clone there. All right. Or, what we can do, if we want to clone Santelmo underscore C01, no? we want to have a second client on our network. So we don't have to install it, no? so we simply clone it. So to clone it, so right click on the virtual machine that you want to clone, all right, and then click on clone, all right? So click on clone, so we'll give it a new name. So this would be our client two. So again, instead of installing or instead of creating a new virtual machine, and go on with the process of the installation of the operating system, we can simply clone it. All right, so we will be doing a full cloning of Santelmo underscore C01 so that we will have our second client. All right, so we have here a full cloning. So um, the error option is link cloning. So I have already explained the difference between the two. All right, so we'll go on full clone. All right, and the snapshot you could simply right so click on everything there okay and then MAC address policy so we want to generate new MAC address for all the network adapters because we want to treat this as a different uh, virtual machine all right though it is just a clone of the other so even though it is a clone we have to have an identity all right a separate identity or an identity of its own okay coming from the source or coming from the original all right 
so what else do we have here so additional options skip this name skip hardware um, IDs okay so um, that's fine no you don't have to choose any but it's your it's a call no it's your call so if you want to keep the disk name you could do so but again as what I'm saying so this is a new virtual machine so we want to have this virtual machine his own identity or its own identity all right so click on clone here okay okay so we are now in the process of cloning so again this is a better option if you want to duplicate Okay, or to create a multiple client, for instance, for the experiment. Okay, so like what we're doing here. So we want to create a network that we want to manage later on. Okay, so our target here is one server and two clients, right? So instead of creating or instead of installing a new client, we just have to clone the first client. You could do that also on the server, right? Or you could do that in any of the virtual machines you've just created. Alright, so again, so we just have to wait for it to finish. So 19 minutes remaining as per the installation process. Alright. already five percent going six percent there So we have 
All right, it's already 25%, 75% to go. done okay so we already have here our second okay so our second virtual box is already created so, mm -hmm. all right so let's test this so this is already San Telmo 02 okay so the parameters for or the attributes for Client 01 is also the same as Client 02 because Client 02 is just a clone of uh, Client 01, right? Okay, so let's test this. Let's start. And we have to give it its own identity. So we have to rename it in 3D system. see if we have a successful cloning okay so this is Sanselmo underscore C02 all right a clone of C01 since it is a clone so we are expecting that the name Okay, of Santelmo C01, this is still in here. Okay, and we want to change that, of course, to C02 inside Windows. Okay, so if you want to create another virtual machine or a virtual box, uh, virtual machine, right? So you just have to clone it. So if you don't want to go with the installation process, so we can just clone it. So applying update. Mm -hmm. Hoping we have a better specifications of uh, the host here. All right, so mm -hmm. we're almost there. So preparing to configure Windows, do not turn off your computer. So just installing the update, so we're done, okay? 
So what we have on the San Telmo C01 is cloned right on C02. So including the username. So if you will observe there, you've got the same username, okay, so which we assigned on video number two, San Telmo. Right? So let's get inside Windows 7. So our password is Netman01. Right, enter. So that's what I'm saying a while ago. It should also inherit the name assigned on the first computer. So we want to change it here. Right, so properties. Right, so see that? Santelmo underscore or Santelmo hyphen C01. So we want to change it to C02. So change C02 there right so okay okay so before starting so we are reminded to save all the files okay close so we are expecting it to restart okay the system so after the restart so it has now its own identity it is now santelmo underscore c02 or santelmo hyphen c02 right so let's restart now so that's how simple to duplicate or to clone a virtual box okay or a virtual machine inside a virtual box all right so that ends up my video here cloning virtual machine on virtual box thank you and see you on the next video